Good evening, folks. We've got an unbagging here. And this unbagging has to do with some machining. So as I've said before, I'm in my machining class. And we've moved over from the mill to the lathe. And what has happened as a result is we are learning how to take high-speed blanks and uh, grind them into cutting tools. Unfortunately, you know, being, being clueless, I had effed up my blank on one end trying to learn what I was doing because uh, it's a big class and the instructor doesn't really give uh, too much what I would call personalized uh, attention because he doesn't have enough bandwidth to do that. So you're kind of not off on your own, but you're, I thought this was more than two, maybe, maybe I was on the crack, but in any case, um, this is half inch by half inch by four inch high speed steel, uh, as you can see there, half inch, half inch four. And what I'm going to do is now that I think I have my process down, so I took my my blank and I effed up one side to the point where the instructor's like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, and then I started over on this side and uh, did just as poorly. And I think part of that has to do with the orientation of um, not really, so I had the picture in my mind, the picture in my mind, something like this. Um, but having the real picture in front of me uh, and setting up the geometry and, and what you need to do in terms of which direction to grind into uh, to essentially make this. Uh, that makes it a little more palatable for me. But now that my blank is no longer blank and it's ruined, I decided, well, why don't I pick up my own new blank and uh, do it again? Because... I have, uh, as I said, uh, destroyed, or maybe that's not the best word, I have uh, mutated my blank into something that uh, is incorrect. So what I am going to do, if I can get this out, is I'm going to take this. I love these dollar store, these rags at the dollar store. I think you get like five for a buck. Uh, so I'm going to take this, and uh, since this is going to be um, my leading edge, I don't know what degree that is. Um, that's a good test. Let me find out. Okay, okay. <laughs> that is almost the edge that is uh, uh, that's a nine degree and and he's telling us we need a seven degree. So that should be eighty three. So that should be right about there. So we're not, we're close, but not quite there. So uh, I will take that. We're going to call this the top. And we're going to call this the bottom because when you're in the, this may sound kind of dumb, but when you're flipping your blank around to get the right uh, angle on the grinder, uh, easier said than done. So, you know, uh, but let's get to a grinding and see what I can come up with back later. All right. So I think I'm wearing more of the ink than the actual bar is. So let me redo 
that is my top. Uh, the little bit of B is still there. All right, so that's the top. And there's my seven degree angle. So, uh, and I was using a blue pen to kind of cut my stuff away. So I need to come in and take this off. And I need to come in and take that off. Uh, and I'm sure that will wear off before I actually do it. So uh, I'm not sure which one I'll do first. I don't know that it really matters, but uh, maybe the B and the T will still be there. And uh, we'll see what this looks like. Back later. All right, you can hear the grinder spinning down in the background. So we're going to say that uh, we have the face cut. Highest point is going to be a right cutting tool. So we cut the face, we eye, then I cut this angle, which is that angle. And I tried to put this back rake right here. I don't know if the camera's catching that. I'll have my instructor tell me if I F that up or not. And now I'm going to go for this front, uh, excuse me, this right Looks like all my blue is gone. We're going to go for that. Um, and then we'll go for the relief for this angle. So we're getting there. Two cuts out of, let's see, one, two, three, and then four to angle that. And you could maybe call that that rake five, back rake. All right, as the grinder grinds down. So we have, I showed the top cut with what I tried to do a little bit of a rake. And we now have this relief right here. So as you can see, maybe down, down. And what we will now do is cut a an angle to make that angle. So that's my last cut and that will be uh, it for my uh, my toolie tool. See what the prof says. Okay, we're gonna call this done done. So I put that relief in. That is also a seven degree or so angle. We've got that as a seven degree angle. This, I don't know how to fucking measure that, so I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, same thing with that. I don't have the proper tools to measure that, so I'll clean this up, meaning getting all the ink and stains off, and then uh, turn it in tomorrow to see if uh, I did my assignment correctly. I'm sure more to come, because I think I have to stone. This is a very sharp point. And I think I have to put a little radius on there with a sharpening stone. I don't want to do it with the uh, with the grinder because I'll destroy it. More to come. So good news, bad news. The good news is all of my cuts were correct. The bad news was the tool was too short. The cutting area was too short it was essentially if memory serves about like that so he's like nope you got to make it deeper so i did that and uh, once i did that seven degrees seven degrees seven degrees seven ish give or take then i had to hone and you can see maybe you can't but i had to hone the uh the 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 cutting edge and I had to put a small radius and I don't know if the camera's catching that but uh, you can see where it's shinier right there so it doesn't have the same you know piercing cut but hopefully with that radius I'll be able to mount that and uh, get to town so um, that is done done at least for right now. So 
what a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of workage. All right, so we're going to call the tool cutting grinding, tool grinding exercise, high speed steel grinding exercise for a right hand tool with my relief cuts. Done.